straight after I graduated, about a month after I moved to Singapore and I was teaching geography and English in local schools over there. And then I sort of graduated or sort of progressed through that program and ended up working in a, an international school and sort of developing my uh, skills as a classroom teacher. So I've been teaching geography now for yeah 12 years and I've just moved back to the UK about a month ago. So I'm really excited to start uh, developing my career further here. Yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend the course to anyone who, you know, has a passion for geography. I think the beauty of like the BA that I did was that you could sort of build it and structure it to tailor it to your interests really well. So when I sort of started off in my first year, I knew I was, you know, I love the physical side of geography, but not so much maybe the data collection. Um, and I really enjoyed aspects of human geography and the way that Kings did it just allowed me to sort of balance that out throughout the whole sort of three years. Um, and I think, you know, anyone who's looking at doing the course and perhaps is a little bit on the fence like I was, it's it's just such a great um, yeah option to sort of figure out what your interests are and not sort of narrow it down too soon. Um, and I think that's definitely led me to my career path because I could still couldn't quite decide what I uh, found more interesting when I've gone from sort of teaching the physical A-level to now the human A-level. Um, but I think that's also the beauty of the subject for me is I get to, and actually being a teacher, you get to carry on with all the different areas that you find of interest. I think geography itself has changed so much over the last sort of, you know, 100 years or so, or even less than that, even just 30 years. And I think studying it at university level really sort of opens your eyes to new areas that fall under the umbrella of geography and how we can sort of progress the subject further. So I think it's so important to study that at university because, I mean, taking it from my perspective as a teacher and talking to parents of students who are now doing it at school, it's not what it was when they studied it and it's so much more interesting. And I think it just gives people such a different way of looking at the world and it gives you the skills of analysis and perception and um, to, to sort of understand problems from different perspectives. And I think studying it at university level sets you up amazingly well for that skill set. And that can be applied to so many different career pathways, not just teaching and education, but I mean, look at where other sort of graduates have ended up. It provides you with those, you know, lifelong skills that will allow you to enter any career path that you want to and give you that sort of unique, holistic perspective of the world.